Sick Boy Lives in Sterilized Bubble for 18 Years I will explain an American movie called Bubble Boy. A boy named Jimmy Livingston was born without any immunity. Even a small germ can kill it, so it must be isolated. He cannot touch anything unless it is contaminated with D. So he will have to live inside a bubble that looks like a plastic ball to last his whole life. His mother, Mrs. Livingston, was so overprotective of her son that until he was four, he was not even allowed to go home. However, after the boy turned four years old, she and Mr. Livingston took him home in his bubble state. His second bedroom has a very large bubble that he can step inside. The bubble has a pair of protruding hands that his parents can use to touch him, all the toys on his RD are contaminated to be free of the tiniest germs and are kept inside the bubble. Jimmy has lived in this room ever since. Mrs. Livingston never wanted him out of the bubble, so she ended all bedtime stories with the dying princess because they were released. He was only allowed to watch one TV channel and read one magazine because Mrs. Livingston insisted they were the only channels ever created. She cut her hair and hugged her son, Mrs. Livingston was an extreme nationalist, so she taught Jimmy only what she considered reasonable and imposed her opinions on him. However, poor Jimmy doesn't know any better, so he accepts. Everyone in town knows about the unique bubble boy, but it doesn't work for him. Instead, the neighborhood kids wrapped themselves in plastic wrap and laughed at Jimmy outside his house. Mrs. Livingston regularly hunts them. The only food Jimmy ate at her home, a decontamination system was placed in a plastic tube where Mrs. Livingston put her food to kill germs before Jimmy could take it out. Jimmy is 16 years old this year. He says he grew up like any other kid and is happy to get an electric guitar instead of a car. Until the day he stood by the window when he saw a new girl, his age named Chloe move in to live in his neighborhood, he grew up and loved that girl but couldn't do anything about it, especially it's because he doesn't know anything about love or girls. His mother sensed his infatuation and told Jimmy the story of a boy who died from touching the house next door. To his horror for the next few years, he watched Chloe extensively through his window. She also realized he was looking at her. He said he knew something was going on with him but he didn't know what. One morning, he woke up with an erection like a petrified body, not sure what the concept was. He hit himself with a stick. He cried and called his mother. Mrs. Livingston entered and made him repeat the Pledge of Allegiance until he calmed down. Chloe has a famous group of friends who laugh at Jimmy. Calling him Bubble Boy, she seemed to be wary of him. One day she knocked on Livingston's door and Mr. Livingston let her in. She saw the plastic pipes around the house and was mesmerized. She followed the subway and went to Jimmy's room. Jimmy was surprised and worried because his mother was the only woman he had talked to. Chloe talks to him and tells him that she likes his guitar. Jimmy tries to teach him to play with his hands forward. He began rereading the Pledge of Allegiance in the middle of it. From that day on, the two went out together every day. Mrs. Livingston didn't like their friendship, but there was nothing she could do. Here is a video of them spending time together. She gave him a guinea pig and a ball for his birthday and even brought the kids to his room for Halloween. One night on her birthday, a drunk Chloe sneaks into Jimmy's room through the window, she tries to step into the bubble pretending she can't stay away from him anymore. However, she lost consciousness before entering. Chloe's prom scene. Her perverted boyfriend Mark comes to pick her up and Jimmy is devastated. Mark gives Jimmy a cigarette, but he doesn't know what it is. One night, Jimmy saw Mark and Chloe kissing through the window. The next day, Chloe enters Jimmy's room and shows him her engagement ring. Mark has offered to marry him. Their wedding was this weekend in Niagara Falls and she came to tell Jimmy. Jimmy was disappointed but it didn't show on his face. She also brings him a gift she keeps inside for decontamination, but Jimmy ignores it. Instead, he handed the guinea pig back to her and asked her to go away. Chloe left with teary eyes after that. Jimmy opens the gift and sees it as a snowball with I love you. Writing inside, surprised, he called her name and decided to go to Niagara Falls to stop the marriage. He worked hard to create a wearable bubble shield and eventually succeeded. Then he sneaks out of the house without his parents knowing that Jimmy is happy to run for the first time. He went to the bus station and asked the person there for a bus ticket. However, Jimmy forgot to bring the money. Distressed, he tried to cross the road when he was hit by a bus, flying to the ground but the balloon saved him. The people on the bus came out and offered to drive it. Jimmy happily accepts it, but knows that everyone is part of a religion. 
when he pointed it out, they angrily threw him off the bus. The group worships to the finish line, where the group's leader proclaims around the man inside a globe that the savior was sent by God. The group realizes that Jimmy is their savior and goes in search of him, to get him off the planet. Meanwhile, Jimmy meets a cyclist named Slim. Jimmy told her about the love of his life when he married someone else. Slim is impressed and in turn tells him about the ex-girlfriend he still loves, named Wildfire. The man asked Jimmy to hitchhike and the two went to Niagara Falls. At Grandma's house. Livingston finds out that Jimmy is missing and panics. Ms. Livingston and her husband set out to find Jimmy because the police would only do so 24 hours after his disappearance. Elsewhere, Slim and Jimmy head to Vegas and stop to rest. They have a lot of fun in a casino, but Jimmy is only two days before the wedding, so he leaves thin to the club, steals a scooter and runs away in it. After going some distance, Jimmy crashed into the car of his parents, who tried to stop him from running at full speed. Jimmy had an accident, but luckily his bubble made him bounce on a moving train. He escaped from his mother, but now trapped on a train with talents from a strange show, the freaks tell him about their boss, Dr. Freak, who keeps them captured and uses them in his quirky show. Jimmy meets Dr. Freak, who happens to be a dwarf. He accidentally threw the man to the ground with his bubble and froze. He then continued on his way to Niagara Falls, but he could barely use the scooter anymore. So he went to a restaurant to ask a pedestrian to get there. A group of policemen threaten a man named Pushpop when Jimmy tells them he has no immunity. They assumed that Jimmy had an infectious disease and ran away from the restaurant on fire during the chaos. And Pushpop to ask Jimmy for a ride. He also agreed to take her to Niagara Falls elsewhere. Mrs. Livingston went to Dr. Freak, who told her that Jimmy was going to Niagara Falls. Angry, she calls Chloe and screams at her for scaring Jimmy away when she talks to Dr. Freak, the monsters outside have stolen her car. Push Pop and Jimmy were on their way when they hit a cow in the middle of the road. Push Pop is heartbroken because in his religion cows are a symbol of God, but according to his mother, Jimmy tells him that his religion is wrong. It offends Push Pop, so it leaves Jimmy alone. Jimmy then somehow arrives in New York. He asked an old man named Pippi to drive him and he accepted. Jimmy woke up the next morning and the man was still at the wheel. Jimmy quickly realized that Pippi was lying lifeless and the car hit a billboard, Jimmy. Go into a grocery store and call Chloe. Mark picks up the phone and tells Jimmy to give up because he's getting married to Chloe in an hour. Now he's desperate, so he calls his mother and asks her to come get him. Both his parents drove up and put him in the car. Mrs. Livingston entered the bathroom when Mr. Livingston asked Jimmy what it was like to be outdoors for the first time. Bond and son Mr. Livingston told Jimmy not to give up until he tried to speak. Jimmy ran to end the marriage. Mrs. Livingston saw him and followed him to their car at the same time. The cult team finds Jimmy and tracks him down. Slim, along with his cyclist friends, comes to the rescue of Jimmy for tweaking the locks, eyeing Mrs. Livingston, who happens to be his former lover during the wildfire. It turns out that they are all rolling on an airplane runway. An airplane takes off. Jimmy got on a plane with an old pilot. They fly to Niagara Falls, but the plane crashes and Jimmy falls into the falls. Luckily, his bubble didn't let him drown. Somehow, he manages to get out of the water and rush to the wedding. Chloe and Mark were in the chapel taking the oath when Jimmy entered the church declaring his love for her. See this as your last chance to convince Chloe. He puts his life in danger and tore his bubble to kiss her. However, soon after, he passes out when Chloe tries to wake him up. Mother and Mrs. Livingston went there for Mrs. Livingston to mourn her son's death when Mr. Livingston asked her to tell everyone the truth, Mrs. Livingston embarrassedly revealed that Jimmy had no condition and he suddenly woke up. It turned out that she had lied to him to keep him away from the evils of the world for all these years. Jimmy was shocked but still forgave his mother when she said she did it to protect him. He finally kisses Chloe while everyone claps. A few months later, Chloe and Jimmy get married. Everyone he met on his trip was at the wedding. Mr. Livingston, Mrs. Livingston, and Slim are now a group. The movie ends when we see Jimmy and Chloe driving away on their honeymoon. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications and leave a like to help the channel. Thanks for watching.